Don't say that. Hey, 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 this is Matthew Harvey with the 12 O'Clock Siren, recording in the 903 Broadband Studios at Cowboy Corner on the southeast side of the downtown Leonard Square. On my left is James Sports Drink Hartley. If you say things like that, I will impeach you. Ooh. On, on the left, I've got Jason Fuller. I've already been impeached. Howdy, howdy. Impeached. 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 Yeah. I saw a funny meme that said, I'm peach. I'm yes. not orange. Yeah. I'm peach. <laughs> yeah, that's good I like that. What you got there, James? What you got in your hand? So I think we're going to start this uh, year in review show off with a celebratory with a shot. shot. I've got the uh, blended scotch. Or excuse me, not scotch. I hate scotch. I've got the blended TX whiskey that uh, your wife bought at the chili cook-off for an insane amount of money. She, she did. did. Most expensive TX whiskey ever sold. Yep. Yeah. But it goes to a good cause. $100 a bottle. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks, Slancha. 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 Yeah. Cheers, boys. Salute. And thank you, listeners. Be familiar, like Vin Diesel says. That's delicious. I can you think? tell by the quiver in your voice. That's, that's so good. That's delicious. Yeah, tastes a little bit like pecan flavored lighter fluid. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah, y'all had the praline, right? Did you have the praline too? I did have I'll the try. praline. Oh, I've had it, yeah. That's why I chose the That was TX. a gift from the yet another Jeep Club for hosting the chili cook off. That that's where fine. it came from. Thank you, boys. Yeah. Matt, Matt, Matt and Mike. You're welcome. You're you're ensuring this pod co- podcast is going to go smoothly. Right. We're kicking yeah. it off with the yeah. Thanks, right. fellas. Irie Bang. So here we are, guys. We're getting close to episode 40. This is the year in review. We This will probably be our last roundtable prior to the new decade. Um, True. We yeah, got, we're closing the year and decade. Yeah, we, we're going to yes. have some holiday tournament stuff coming up, but uh, this will be the last sure, roundtable. Yeah. So no guests tonight. You, you uh, listeners are stuck with our yeah. three fabulous what personalities. What you hear is what a, you get. It'll be an episode and a recap of that episode <laughs> where we just talk about <laughs> just, it again. Try to just, mirror it as yeah. perfectly yeah. as we can remember it. Yeah, that's, that's, maybe that's, that's a challenge of, to ourselves in this recap. That's the kind of quality material we uh, we put out here at the twelve o'clock siren. Yeah, we're not Let's making see. no. Poop Speaking jokes of the holiday tonight. tournament, which is coming up uh, December twenty sixth through twenty eighth, I believe. Uh, Wrapping up on the Saturday, confirm. December twenty eighth. Confirm that, James. Yeah, yeah, yeah confirm, confirm that you it. got the little uh, Google. I got the power of Google, Google behind me, me. connected to ninety three w- w- broadband uh, Wi Fi and yep. the little Orbi router. Satellite internet with a smile. Quick connection. I don't know if that's their logo, but I've been pretending like it is. Satellite internet it's with a smile. local internet that's from good. local people. I don't I don't know if that's theirs or not. Tyler, yeah, let me know if you like it or not. 12 o'clock siren is the uh, Wi-Fi Shame. name. Dude, this, is you know the, the uh, this is you the... You just told everybody our Wi-Fi, dude. Yeah, it's up here. It's, it's, it's uh, available. We're going to have to change public. it now. This is the 58th annual Leonard Holiday Tournament. Yeah, it's been going yeah. forever. And it's the 27th through the 29th. 27 through 29. Yeah. Yeah, the reason that is noteworthy is because there have been some epic, epic Leonard Texas Holiday Tournaments in the past. Yeah, you know, the Leonard True. Peaster thing obviously stands sure. heads and tails. Uh, but James was a part of one that was very I, big also. I, I, it goes through a Sunday. It does. Yeah. Oh. I think uh I think I, I don't really ever um try to put myself in the spotlight, but the uh, the Leonard Texas Van Austin you game don't? that well, except by starting a podcast and my buddies <laughs> and blasting it out to the community. Um and forcing people to listen to it who probably don't want you're, to. You're right. also six four. That's true. Yeah. Five or whatever. I've, everything. I, I usually split the difference. I've been measured at six four and six six, so sure. I say six five. You have been measured. You yeah. have been found wanting. Yeah. You actually bought a spotlight recently too. I did. About you don't spotlight? like the spotlight. Yeah. It, it comes with the camera oh, okay. that I'm going to also oh, use to shoot I was, us. I was just kidding <laughs> yeah. about the spotlight. Come no. Uh, but, yeah, the the Leonard Van Alstine game that I was privileged enough to play in was a, was a pretty epic game, too. Three overtimes, triple overtime. Insane game. Yeah, I, I was a I perennially fouled out, and uh, I had, like, three fouls in the, you know, third quarter, and I made it through all triple overtimes without fouling out, which is a miracle. That was a really, really good game. Man, Very was. entertaining game. It was. Uh, matter of fact, 903 Broadband, Tyler McCarley was part of that team. He was a part of Rex that team. Butler Rex Butler was part of that team. Rex Butler was a part of that team. Cool. My brother Kenneth was a part yep. of that team. 
Jake cool. McCarley, who is the CEO of a software startup. Was Go it Carl? Jake. Was Carlton Fulton yep. on that team? Carlton was. Shout out to Carlton if he's listening. He's out there in West Texas with Justin Bush, who was also a part of that team. Yeah, I seen that dude not that long ago. Justin's doing good, man. I, I talked to him, I don't know, a year or so ago on Facebook or something, and we don't stay in touch like we used to, but he's a good guy. Yeah, he's a good dude. Um, okay, so we got some we got some Leonard holiday tournament coming up, the twenty seventh through the twenty ninth. We're gonna go out there, we're gonna call a game, maybe. We're gonna talk to some coaches. <laughs> Oh, oh, this just in, this just in. Uh, breaking news. Breaking news. Uh, Coach Wrinkle will be at the tournament. I thought you were going to say President Trump has been impeached. Nope, yeah, nope, nope. Coach Wrinkle will be at the tournament. We will have him on the tr- on the show. Yep. He has agreed to come on this our is, show. This is just, just breaking. Breaking news. That's good. Exciting stuff. I like your sound effects. That was not a sound effect. That oh. was just, that, that, that just happened. Just happened. happened. Came about. It went off in town, yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. Just worked out. <laughs> I, I've been talking to him this past week. And, what do you uh, think about that Wayne Static mode? He told me he'd be in town and we can get him on the the show and talk to him. He uh, did. Pre yeah, I reached pre out game to him during a back. game. He said as long as we will have him. Yeah, is what he's good for. So yeah, uh, a while back I messaged fun. him um, and he said he would be honored. Oh well, to cool. be a part of our show. I think he may have said your little show. I don't know. Yeah. So, no, <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay, wait, That's wait true. a minute. <laughs> You're not invited. Yeah. Uh, no, I love Coach Rinkle, man. He's cool. Yeah, I uh, unfortunately did not have the uh, privilege to. You didn't play have him as a teacher him. or anything. Mm-mm. I think um, he, he I taught biology. biology we uh, dissected a pig and stuff in there. Yep. I think his last year as head coach was the my freshman year, which I played JV, and then I moved up to varsity my sophomore year when Coach Kent came. Whatever. There I might have been some time before that. Did, did Coach Maxwell have the head coaching job for a little bit? Right after him. Yeah. So. He it must his last year must have been my seventh or eighth grade year. But he is yeah. down in the Austin area. Pflugerville, we'll I think. Coming up here yeah. for that. And we've also got uh in on deck the coach from the opposing coach Peaster. from Peaster, Texas, who played against Coach Wrinkle and his name oh. is Danny Henderson. Henderson, yep. Um We've talked Excuse about him me. before. Danny Henderson, on he, a couple he can't episodes make it, but he recaps. said he would be glad to uh, talk over the phone. If we can figure it if, out, we're going to phone him in yeah. and get a uh, wrinkle. I, I always thought it would be and really cool. Uh, I know Danny Henderson has gone on to do great things in the world of basketball coaching, right? The collegiate where's level. Rock, where's he at, Rockwall? Yeah, he's coached like collegiate level since then. Okay. He's won state titles. But he went back to high school, I believe, right? I believe so, but in his uh, coaching career – he has done some pretty, uh, pretty cool things, and he's he still says that game keeps him awake some nights. Yeah, yeah. Guys, I apologize. This is uh, actually the 59th annual. Uh, that was I was reading 2018, so I'm trying to find the 2019. Yeah, stuff. Update That's us. All right, I'm not mad at you. I felt like I needed to uh, highlight okay. that. That's yeah, okay. so he uh, he couldn't be in town for the sh- for the uh, tournament, but. Uh, has agreed to if it all works yeah. out. Said so if you guys uh, want to talk on the phone, and, and I would uh, love to do that and get get him and uh, Coach Wrinkled to. I always wanted to hear their, like their like opposing memories. Um, memories from different sidelines. You know what yeah. I mean? Because uh, Coach Wrinkle, whom I I'm very fond of, probably should not have won that game. Yeah, yeah. Peaster was really good. That's Leonard was pretty good at home, home though. Leonard was uh, just about unbeatable at home for a few years. Yeah. And Peaster learned that the hard way. Speaking of coaches, I just uh, nailed down a big interview. I'm not going to say anything yet. Yes, um, But I, I got a uh, a big one coming in at the end of January. It's going to be good. Um, details to come, but it's uh, stay tuned. And uh, well, so so you can't say yet. We're not gonna we're not gonna broadcast it, but I'll broadcast one. Uh, Jason Matthew knows this. Uh, I haven't talked to you since, but uh, I reached out to the CEO. So I'm a coffee drinker, right? I drink too much of it. So I've started going the English route lately and trying different teas. And there is a company out of Dallas called. <laughs> yeah, there it is. I'm fancy. It's all right. <laughs> what do they say in England? Have a cuppa. Oh, what are you doing, jolly old? I'd- James um, is bougie. I am. Anyway, there is a tea company started by two 101st Airborne veterans. Uh, it's called Rockasan Tea, and they're out of Deep Ellum. And I reached out to them, and the CEO has agreed to come on uh, the podcast. He said he'd love to. I'm a fan of their tea. They're, you know, vets, and uh, they're cool. local, you know, pseudo-local. Now, we may kind of have to go to them. We were talking about scheduling, so we're go- that's going to come up in January. We may do a uh, meet them halfway at a brewery and sit down and talk. 
So uh, thank you. I think his name's Brandon. Cool. Uh, yeah. So maybe he'll listen to this and decide not to come on. I don't know. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, we got some good stuff coming up in uh, 2020. But uh, I was sitting here looking, 2019, we lost a lot of people in 2019, man. As we, we did. As we do the year in review here. Um, as we do every year. We do. Um, Eddie Money. Man. I love me some Eddie Money. Dude. I've Luke. got to ask you a question now. <laughs> Won't there you, you answer it, please, for me? That's good. I've got... I, did, I just came up with that. That's, that it's like a gift. Eddie Money rapping. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty good. Uh, Juice World. Sorry, that's not even worth mentioning. Uh, Juice World. Do you, want, do, you, do you hear the story on that? Why don't you tell story? us? Have you heard this? Juice World? Juice, Juice World, person? the SoundCloud rapper. He's one of those rapper. SoundCloud rapper guys. Uh, yeah, yeah that stuff's he's, not on my radar, but I want to hear He's pretty big, it. apparently. I mean, I've heard about him from, uh, okay. I think we talked about uh, Long Neck. Yeah. In yeah, one yeah. of the recaps. And Broad um, Neck. Yeah, but anyway, anyway uh, he apparently um, took a private plane from X to Y, and the pilot smelled marijuana in the plane, and had Narc. alerted the uh, authorities where they landed. So when they landed, they were waiting for him on on the outside of the plane. Well, he took a ton of Vicodins that he had and seized out at the hospital. Is that crazy? So I, I, crazy. I, I saw a meme with Takashi Six Nine as the pilot <laughs> looking back, like ha ha, you know. <laughs> and I didn't get it, but I laughed, you know. Yeah. So it they was were funny. Gonna- Bust this dude because he had some of the devil's lettuce. I guess well, he wasn't it was like smoking it, but it was, pounds. from what I understand, it was like yeah, in excess of fifty pounds, uh, seventy pounds. Like it was like something drug like, trafficking. Uh, like it was, it was maybe the pilot was in jeopardy. I don't know. Uh, okay. But anyway, that's why he died. And I haven't fact checked any of that. So as much as I'm a libertarian about that stuff, um, you know, you can't put other people's jobs at jeopardy. Yeah, sure, that's you know? rude. Yeah, <laughs> if you're if you're Nate Newton and you want to run some drugs to yeah. Mexico or whatever, you whatever. buy yourself Florida, in a van. That's okay. Then you get caught in like Mississippi I or wasn't it Alabama. In Chicago. That's one thing, but I don't know. Whatever, man. Nate Newton, he did get busted though. Was he it did. him and like Russell Maryland or uh, um, Leon Lett? Maybe uh, Leon Lett got busted a couple times. Know. Nate Newton said he did it for the rush. The rush of running it. Yeah, he stood to make seventy five k per drug deal. Uh, says ESPN dot com. Wow, Nate Newton or oh well, that's all he that's did. So for cool that's that like you have one a game. laptop now no, and you're just pulling than... stuff up as we talk about uh, it. You can call me Young James, kind of like Young Jamie. Jamie on Rogan. I feel like you need Long like James. an English name. <laughs> well, yeah. Is James not kind of an English Pippen. name? Jaime. Pippin or something. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a Hobbit. Yeah. Nigel. <laughs> Nigel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you look like kind a Nigel. You're an old Nigel. I'll take Nigel. That's Simon. It's a good strong name. Simon's a good strong name. I like that. Uh, that's a Templar, right? Uh, sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it is. Why don't you look it up there, Nigel? Yeah, have you not seen The Saint, Simon Templar? No. The Saint? No. Kilmer? Ba- Val, Val Kilmer, yeah. Yeah, it I've was seen in it. The Saint. Uh, it was I mean, based off uh, books, and he, he rolled through. Like, okay. Did you ever see yeah. Batman with Val Kilmer? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. It was a good one. It was, it was a good Bruce Wayne. I dig it. His he Bruce was, Wayne was slamming. Uh, sorry, Val yeah. Kilmer. That's how. That's kind of how I feel about uh, this new Batman, the the Twilight guy. I feel like he's going to be a good Bruce Wayne. Probably so. I don't know about how he's going to do. I'll be honest with you. I thought that Ben Affleck was the best Bruce Wayne so far. I could see that. Yeah, mm. it, Christian Bale was not a good Bruce Wayne. He was a great Batman. You know what I liked about Affleck is he's large in stature. Yep. Uh, and Batman should be a big guy. Yeah. Christian well, Bale's my size. You know? Yeah. It, well, Spider Man should be a little dude. Batman should not. No, you know? because Batman has no superpowers. He just yeah. beats people to death. Brute force. Brute force. Well, he's he's super rich. He is super rich, that is and that power. is kind of a he's superpower. Also a super sleuth. Nope. Nope. Yeah. So he doesn't use guns either. I, it. Or no. used to not. He does he now. Just catch these hands when you mess with Batman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Although I did like Batfleck. He used an assault rifle a couple he times. I was he like, killed. No, I like it. The yeah. token look at this part. He would give you that. Though. That Fleck wasn't as bad as uh, Christian Bell, though. No, nah, I thought Ben Affleck nailed it. The writing was bad. Mm. No. And it's too bad he's one and done or whatever. Yeah. Hey, they I guess he made an it. appearance in um, Suicide Squad. Yeah. And uh, the, the what do you call it, um, the crossover with Superman. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I mean, I guess it's not a crossover because that's DC too, right? So. Well, that is the one he was in, correct? He was what? Sir, what'd you say? I said that is the one he was in, right? The only one, the Batman versus Superman. Yeah, 
He didn't have a, a standalone, right? Batman stats? Yeah, I'll look that up. Who has played Batman? So, look, here's the deal. Michael Keaton is awesome. Sure, I love those movies. I do, too. But the, you got to say, I feel like the Christopher Nolan movies were better. That trilogy was better. It was. I mean, it, I I love the Tim Burton style, and it, it set the precedent, but... The Christopher Nolan man. See, I liked the first one. I, I wasn't a fan as much of the returns. You're not really a movie fan, I'm not, though. I'm not a movie fan. I get in my rut and I, I don't get out of it. No, no. I, mean, I shouldn't say you're not a movie fan. You don't watch <clears throat> quote unquote cinema for like, you, you watch comedies and you like m- the movies you like, but you're not like an avid movie goer. Is yeah. that a fair oh, statement? Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't go. Like don't, Jim McDonald take a lot. I doesn't really like music. I he did likes at what one he likes. point, and then I, I just kind of fell off. Like with music, I just like, you know, I'm just like. Right. I liked the old Michael Found Keaton like. Batmans, but I have a gripe with those, and the majority of that that whole run is they, they're too dark. At like a lot of uh, DC stuff is too dark. Like, is. I mean, and I, I mean like, like comics. literally yeah. dark. It's uh, filmed at nighttime. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. A lot of it's hard to see, um, but you can't deny um, – the villains in the Christopher Nolan trilogy. The Scarecrow was great. That's a villain we never see. Yeah. And well, and the, I love the guy that plays him. Yeah. Yeah, that uh, guy was good, too. He's name, in that Peaky Blinders show that you like. I love it. I can't remember his name, but uh, Heath Ledger's Joker is ridiculous. It is. Yeah. As much as I oh, liked. Oh, yeah, that was that was a great one. I love that one. I like no. Jack Nicholson, but come on, man. Heath Ledger was amazing. He did it. Yeah. He yeah. died from that role. Yeah. yeah. He played worst, it so hard. Worst Joker ever, Jared Leto. Sorry. Terrible. I like Jared Leto. Dude. Like him. Do 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 do. I did a version of the Joker at my house the other day, and it was better than Jared Leto. <laughs> what caused you to be Joker? How was there was go? there just, was there just, a happening? Just a one up that fool. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you were like, you no, were intentionally I think I can do it better. Was it a laugh or what? No, nah, I just it? I didn't do anything really. I just kind of looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, okay, I'm better than that guy. Oh, right. see, I see so you were doing that. I thought it was like maybe something that happened, like your clothes got stuck on the door handle, <laughs> and it turned you. Right. You know, it just broke your mind. <laughs> Because that happens. Why does that only happen when you're in a bad mood, too? Uh, traffic will do that to me. No. I've turned into the Joker several times in traffic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I don't know about these Batman stats. They're not looking good. No. I'll have to skip. That's all right. Skip that. Well, yeah. We wanted to get into some stuff. We did want to talk about the 20 greatest Christmas movies of all time. Oh. I saw a list the other day, and yeah. I believe the Dude, list Just look up top ran, 20 Christmas And, and this is movies. it rang true with me. I love the Elf. They had it at number one. I do too. They had it at number one. I know. I know that's uh, prestigious, but I thought I like it. it don't love pre- it. I, I was appreciative that they put it up there. I know a lot of people that would love it, but I like it. Don't love it. I love it. I like it. I like the uh, when she's in the shower and he creeps in there and sings uh, "Baby, It's Cold Outside." <laughs> yeah. And I just it's I, innocent. It's yeah. very innocent. Yeah. Play, uh, Will Ferrell plays it well. Mm-hmm. He plays uh, the character well. well I think. He has a tendency to play uh, innocent characters in just about every role. Yeah. Even when he's trying to de- like deliberately be a jerk, yeah. Yeah. he's still kind of innocent. Here's a controversial hot sure. take. Oh, you got an HSO? Yeah. Um, Christmas Story. Not a huge fan. Really? Uh, uh, I have to watch it on Christmas Day. Like I feel like you're, it, you're it, changed it is by tradition. tradition. Yeah. yeah. It's not Christmas Dig unless it. Can it's pick on. it up at any point in the movie. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Not like Maybe I, I'm, sh- gonna, I'm not going to go out of my way to watch That's it. That's the only on, day of the year that it. I want to watch that. Maybe I should try right. it again. It's been a long time since I've I seen remember it. I only watch it on Christmas. There's I remember no watching need to it watch it any other day. As a kid day. thinking it was an old movie. Yeah, and it's not. It's you know, it was probably made like three, four years before I was introduced yeah. to it, but I remember watching it thinking it was like from the, what was it, set in like the 50s? I think uh, Christmas Vacation is probably my Must be the 50s. top Christmas movie if I had to choose. Mm. Christmas Vacation. Mm-hmm. I can watch That's that a good any one, day of the year. I, the part where he staples himself to the, you know, I mean, that's good. That's I like good quality the, uh, Chevy Chase. when the squirrel's on his back. Yeah. <laughs> and they're all running through the house. I like that. And Cousin Eddie. So, uh, let me ask this question then. Number 20 on this top 20, right? Bringing up the rear, but still making the top 20, is the Santa Claus, Tim Allen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I honestly have not watched it. I there's watched any it. of them. I think there's three of them. There's a Christmas movie that I like that did not make that list. What? Ernest Saves Christmas. Oh, oh man. man. Classic. I love Ernest. So. Timeless. Yeah. I like yeah. Ernest. But, well, it's definitely a uh, polar opposite than Ernest Scared Stupid, which yes. is dark and horrifying. Yes. 
Have you ever seen Ernest Goes to Summer Camp? Yeah. That's the original, right? I yep. remember watching one of those in the theater and it just being a very good time in life. Like, I love Ernest. I'll, I'll be honest. I really have, like, there's a warm spot in my heart for Ernest P. Worrell. Probably would have never gone to see his stuff in the theater. Well, no, <laughs> I'll be yeah. honest. I, I did. I remember. I know you did. It was early, that's, early. That's bold. It was, v- it was vague memory. You know what number 19 is? Um, no, I Let's, do. Uh, hold on. Uh, Miracle. You should on know. 30. Nope. Is Gremlins. It? Gremlins. Yeah. Nah, that's a good one. Not a Christmas movie per se, but Joe Dante's mischievous monster mash comedy is set during the holidays in a snowy Norman Rockwell-esque town. Plus, who didn't want a cuddly little pet like Gizmo, Gizmo. waiting under their tree <laughs> on <laughs> Christmas <laughs> morning? <laughs> assuming you didn't feed it after midnight. I, went, I saw that one in the theater. I remember Home Alone being like a madhouse when, oh, we, yeah. when we saw it in, yep. the, in theaters. Oh, yeah. It was insanity. See... National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation is number, number 18. 18. Yeah, that's that, the list order is ridiculous, it but is. they got the movies right, I think. Yeah, that, that should be National way Lampoon up. of what? <clears throat> number 18. Christmas wow. Vacation. That should be top five at least, for yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah for, for sure. absolutely. Scrooged. I remember that. Yeah, Bill Murray. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Die Hard, number 16. Mm-hmm. I'm a fan. Miracle on 34th Street, uh, mm-hmm. number 15, the original, the 1947 yep. version. Uh, White Christmas, I'm not super familiar with that. That's uh, Bing Crosby uh, and Rosemary Clooney. See, I can't get into those kind of Christmas I, movies. But I do like uh, It's a Wonderful Life or whatever uh, with uh, Jimmy Stewart. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. But I think yeah. it's because my parents were pretty young, and we didn't watch like black and white movies as a kid. Right. So you, I, I'm afraid one of our previous guests uh, is going to gonna not yeah. like this. But I, as much as I like movies, I can't get into a lot of the old ones. Like. Yeah. There's a couple. I mean, Casablanca is cool. Sure. Like it, it is what it is. But I'm just I'm not big into the whole film noir stuff. I'm really mm-hmm. not either. Now the neo noir, like they film it like it's old. I'm all into that. Mm-hmm. Like uh, uh, the movie Brick with uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, where he's investigating a uh, heroin overdose death of his ex girlfriend, and it's all it has dialogue like Dick Tracy. I like that. That's like cool. Newsies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Christian Bell also in Newsies. There you go. The Nightmare Before Christmas, 1993. Walked yep. out of that movie, my wife Tim did. Burton. Tim Burton? No. Nope. Your wife walked out? Yep. Said it was terrible. Oh, she, or walked, maybe that she was walked out of it. Yeah, she walked uh, out I of it. I thought you said you and your. I was like, how did y'all do that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me wow. see that camera. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Let me see that camera. Here's a picture of me when I was older. <laughs> um, trading Places. Whoa. Here we go. I like what, that movie. What number? Number 12. Over over Christmas over vacation. Over Lampoon vacation. Yeah, that's crazy. Good Lord. Home Alone, number 11. That's yeah, crazy. That's, this is weak. Yeah, it is weak. Where, where's this coming from? The uh, Onion? No, Entertainment Weekly. <laughs> <laughs> Crikey. Hey, number 10, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I'll do like All that right. one. Yeah, yeah Claymation. Rudolph is, soft Rudolph's spot. amazing. Soft spot in my heart. She thinks I'm cute. Yeah. That that's the, funny. The Davy style yeah. claymation stuff. And what was it? What's oh, the uh, Davy? You remember that commercial that kind of brought that back? I don't know. That sounded like Eeyore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Davy, how'd it go? Geico, I think, did it. Saw a meme that was post uh, post impeachment, and it was Pooh and Piglet walking, and it was like, "What day is it today, Piglet?" And he was like, "The day we burn it all down." <laughs> and he goes, "My favorite day." <laughs> <laughs> The Year what? Without Santa Claus. Not familiar with that not at all. Familiar. 1974. Never heard of it. Number eight, The Muppet Christmas Carol. There we go. All right. I was a big Muppet guy. Big I Muppet. was, but I never, I've never seen that movie. Uh, Jim Henson not was the awesome, best though. Muppet okay, movie. Jim Henson. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to embarrass my parents here. Number seven, Bad Santa. Mm. It's pretty yeah. good, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a, actually a top five for me as well. And that, that redheaded I, that's kid. That's what I was forgetting. Yeah. He steals the show. In He's that. awesome. Yeah. He yeah. is. Are you... Messing with me? <laughs> <laughs> I want a pink elephant that takes commands. <laughs> Are you messing with me? That's funny, dude. Uh, Billy Bob Thornton it plays a great drunk. Yeah, Santa he plays Claus a good it's, retard it's, also. Yeah, he does. Can you say it's retard? It's certainly cringeworthy, yeah. but it is hilarious. Mm, I reckon you can. Dirt and biscuit. Mm-hmm. Mm, I reckon I'll kill you with it. Love Actually. <laughs> I'm not, not going to. Sure. Huh. Never watched it. Uh, Heard of it. My never, wife likes never it. Never watched it. Pardon me. How the Grinch Stole Christmas, 1966. I do like me some Grinch, yeah. and I like that one, too. Yeah, the, yeah. the original one, yeah. Yeah. You're number four. You're a mean one. Is Elf. Number, number four is Elf. Number three number is a Charlie Brown Christmas. Yeah, I like, yeah, that. I that was good. I like all the Charlie Brown that, stuff. Man, 
that gives me a warm feeling inside, dude. Yeah. We used to watch Charlie Brown stuff in school, oh, in yeah. elementary school. Excuse me. Um, I'm, I'm a child of the 80s, though. I remember uh, when they would air that stuff, and we would gather around the TV that week. You know, it would it would uh, show the commercials. Charlie Brown's coming on Thursday night. Right. And we would and it had a set Christian our watches by that stuff, it? man. Oh, yeah. It's always had a good message. Yeah. 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 Uh, number two, Christmas Story. And number one, It's a Wonderful Life. So, yeah. but Christmas see, story. I'm not mad at that. Those like top three or whatever, but man, uh, Home Alone's too low. Uh, Christmas Vacation is way too low. Absolutely, a, uh, it's a wonderful life though. It's a bit more nuanced than uh, than just a Christmas movie. We are li- like Jimmy Stewart flew um, combat missions in uh, World War II, right? And he struggled with PTSD. And his stardom started going down. He started becoming hard to work with and started, uh, he was suffering from PTSD. They called it shell shock back then, I think. And, um, or combat fatigue or whatever. Well, when he Battle took fatigue, yes. When he took this role, um, the character was having a meltdown and we watched it. You watch it in the movie. He's having a, a anxiety. I mean, he, he's dealing with some mental illness. Right. And so it's a, it's a great show and it's a little bit more nuanced than just a, uh, uh, Christmas show. I like it a lot. So Plus, who doesn't our, like Jimmy Stewart? Yeah, for real. So that's our uh, our list of cr- the 20 best Christmas movies of all time. Yeah. You so. got any other honorable mentions you'd like to throw in there? Oh, man. Besides uh, Ernest Saves Christmas? Any oddball ones? I think Ernest is definitely uh, something you watch. I don't know of anything. I mean, you know, we joke about the Die Hard being, you know, but that actually made the list. Um, yeah, I and I'm not mad at Die Hard. If if people want to call Die Hard a Christmas movie, that's fine. Just call Gremlins one. And they did. Yeah, it's on the list. I'm okay with that. Yeah. What else takes place at Christmas? What do you think happens more? People watching the Die Hard or people having the conversation about whether definitely it's a Christmas the, conversation. the conversation. The conversation. The conversation. Um, yeah. Is it kind of a beating? I have to print. Are y'all there yet? I'm not there. It's kind of a beating. It's for a me. beating. I hate. I hate the just. You know why it's Casual. a beating? Because Die Hard uh, was not a bad movie, not a bad franchise, but it took a second place to Lethal Weapon. Yeah, it for I think for the entire world, right. Right. Lethal Weapon, the first one, it happened at Christmas time too, man. Yeah, and Just it was a better much, movie. Yeah, and it was a much better movie. The comedy was so. Way better. It, this is one of those things that like uh, people like I think social media kind of made this Die Hard thing hang around for yeah. a while. So it's gotten probably more publicity than it deserved, but. I don't know. I do have to print a retraction, though. What's that? We talked about Dutch while we were on the parade. It's not a Christmas movie. It's a Thanksgiving movie. Oh, oh you're right. Oh, man. They were not trying to get Sorry, to guys, Christmas. We they were corrected. trying to get to a Thanksgiving dinner. You're right. Mm. And they ended up having Thanksgiving dinner in that homeless in the shelter. homeless shelter, and it humbled them both. That's right. Yeah. That's so. when he shared the role. That's what I remember the biggest part apologies. of the movie. Yep. Yeah, biggest apologies. Yeah, so that's uh, my you guys. apologies because I brought up a movie th- for Christmas, and it was not a Christmas movie. No. That's okay, though. Y- you can't help but kind of tie Thanksgiving and Christmas together, Yeah, for right? sure. They're synonymous. You both eat turkey. They're synonymous. They're tag team They're partners. Part. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tagging you in Christmas. It's your turn. Um, What's your favorite thing to do on Christmas? Do you have a Christmas tra- Other than watching a Christmas story on Christmas Day, do you have a Christmas tradition? Um... I don't know about so Christmas. Christmas a lot I'll, I'll be honest. Um, I, l- I like Christmas a lot, contrary to what my wife might think. Right. I do like Christmas Oh, I'm time. fabulous for it. I like Christmas Day, but I'm a Thanksgiving guy. Uh, if I had to vote nope. on which one I like the most. I like Thanksgiving because you're together. You're uh, you're thankful for everything, but there's not the inconvenience of shopping. Yeah, and giving gifts and making yeah, material. So Thanksgiving, yeah. is the that's the one you're getting together for the right More reasons. More relaxing. Yeah. Um, I do like Christmas. Time. I always kind of, um, you know, you watch the movies that take place at either Thanksgiving or Christmas, and um, I always were kind of like we we have a very Brady esque family, so I'm not trying to say like oh, but I always was kind of envious of the like the football game that yeah. takes place in the movies. You yeah, know, they sure. it's their tradition, and they go out and they play you know girls versus guys or right. whatever. And uh, I was always kind of like, man, that'd be kind of a cool yeah. thing to do. You know, but instead, I usually just watch the Cowboys. See, suck, we so. used a lot of ours to do that at Thanksgiving. A turkey. We really? would do like a Thanksgiving football game oh. after we after we would eat. But at Christmas time, man, everybody we get up so early. You know, when I was kids, my brother would wake my parents up at like four thirty in the morning. Yeah. yeah, so we would get up, and open gifts, and then fall back asleep for a while. You know, All right? What was one of the most magical Christmas gifts as a I child, remember like as a kid, like the toy or something the like gift that? gift that stood out to me the most was a. It was about a foot and a half tall Optimus Prime. Yeah. And Santa Claus brought it, so it was unwrapped. You know. Yeah. 
And I remember walking in there that morning and like Kenneth got something he wanted and my sister got something they wanted. And I looked at that Optimus Prime and I knew exactly who it was for. And uh, I, that thing, man, I carried it around for a year. I babied that thing. I would sleep, you know, with him in my bed. I, whatever happened, me and Optimus could get through yeah. it, you know? <laughs> yeah. And what about you, Matthew? Um, without saying the obvious Nintendo. Yeah, that um, is mine. Because it's probably a lot of people's go-to. I'm going to say uh, one year I got a, a Lego uh, pirate ship. Okay. And it was pretty big and challenging in the build building yeah. uh, uh, abilities. And uh, it, it was really cool and ended up putting it together. I, I did sit on it. <laughs> On accident because I was playing Nintendo. Oh man! No, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so we had a Nintendo, but I don't like think fi- we got it for Christmas. Yeah, yeah I got yeah. mine for Christmas. We did play it a lot though. Yeah, I, I was. Uh, I'd finished the pirate ship, set it like on, on my chair or something, and, like sat down to play Nintendo for whatever reason. Didn't realize it was there and sat on it and broke it. What about you, James? Hours down Here's the drain. Nintendo so, also. so I will say the Nintendo. That's a go-to. What uh, games? Uh, it just Mario just, and Duck Hunt. Yeah, what it came with. Um, it was. I think the next game I got was that Tiger Heli. I remember game. like the I remember like the cold sounds of Nintendo going through the like garage walls as like somebody was playing yeah, it like yeah. in the like because that was the thing to do. But for my t- to stay away from the uh, the go to Nintendo, my my family was big on weapons. Um, I got a pair of Psy one year. Uh, nice. Yeah, like I was big into karate and you know whatnot, and I got a pair of Psy's. And then my ninth birthday. I got a Chinese made SKS. Dude. At nine dude. years old. My all my um all my liberal friends I always tell the story and you know, we talk about uh we talk about guns and whatnot and I'm like, Oh yeah, I got my first uh uh you know, assault rifle at nine and they're like, I can't believe you got your first gun at nine and I said, Oh, I didn't say gun. Yeah. I got a four ten <laughs> when I was five. But I got my first assault rifle at nine. So nice. yeah, I've got a really good picture of me with a kind of a mullet in my whitey tidies holding up this Chinese <laughs> assault rifle. Oh yeah, rival. I've seen that. Yeah. <laughs> Your parents are like, this is our chance. Yeah, yeah. take yeah. the picture. Take Get the picture. Now. Yeah, <laughs> this will look great in thirty years. Yeah. It was awesome. It was a great hog cool. gun, man. I traded it uh, later for a ten twenty two, and it was a good trade. I love ten twenty two. Money wise, though. That SKS would bring a little mo. A little mo now. Days. It didn't then. Yeah. It Back was, then they were a dime a dozen. Yeah. That it was ten twenty two probably cost more at the time. It did. And it was like uh it was like buying a Mosin back in the day. You yeah. can get a Mosin now for right, whatever. For like hundred and fifty bucks. Yeah. yeah. You can buy a case of Mosins that still have factory grease for twenty five hundred dollars. What do they I've call that like grease? 30 they guns come in. In there. <laughs> it hasn't that grease has a name. I forget. Uh long term storage grease, whatever Duty it is. Grease. Yeah. Speaking of weaponry, uh, I tagged you fellas in an Instagram video of the jetpack guy with an automatic weapon on his shoulder. I did see that. Did you guys see that? I did. Oh, it's amazing. Lord. I got to get one of those. That terrified me. Kind of wrong, reckless. In the wrong hands. That's. Uh, Have you seen all the robots <laughs> I, with gun videos quick. lately? Those are, I, are they deep fakes. Satirical? They yeah, are. It's within, be, man. within five minutes of searching hashtag jetpack on Instagram, I found the first person really operating an awesome jetpack I've ever seen, like, well. And then I saw him using a gun on it within Eww. five minutes. So I was like, well, that just escalated quickly. But he was uh, rapid, rapid firing. I don't know if it was automatic yeah. or semi-automatic, but not, I don't know how he's firing it, but... Boy, it was impressive. Yeah, and also reckless. Very, it yeah. Very reckless yeah. and dangerous. It's and weird. I, I like explosions and uh, rapid gunfire. Yeah. But I no, like, it was I cool. like to kind of be the one doing don't it. Don't get though. me wrong. It's cool, but in the wrong hands. My Lord, yeah. that, that thing will do some damage. Yeah. Um, it's There's some company in, it looked like, looked like Florida, Miami area, uh, that operate out of a hangar. They had you know, helicopters and stuff like that around, but they do this uh, anti-gravity um, jetpack thing where it's pretty much Iron Man. Um, these jet engines, basically two of them on either of your wrist, and you just point them down the ground. And it lifts you off the ground. And you just float across the sea Jeez, or land or whatever. Too. But yeah, this guy had a uh, machine gun, basically strapped to his shoulder like RoboCop. But remember he's that gun around. he had? Yes. The way it came out of his back and over his shoulder. Was that RoboCop? I think so. Or Predator. Um, <laughs> I might, like be, you're I might be thinking of, of Short Circuit. Predator. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Johnny Five. Johnny, Johnny Five is alive, Five. yeah. But anyway, the, um, uh, boy, the jetpack thing they have is insane. And all the people that are trying the jetpack out for the first time look like they're not having the time of their lives when 
you would think you're trying to jetpack out for the first time. What you'd is have that the, grin on your face, like holy crap, I'm 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 flying in a jetpack. What is the? And they're uh, just acting like they're having a ham sandwich at the. What's the aquatic jetpack cafe? thing? Uh, it looks like it's hooked up to like a uh, snowmobile or a snowmobile, uh, jet skis. What is that thing? I That's see people like the, flying uh, around. On it. What is that? Do you the, have one? Uh, of them? I I've seen them, you know, at the lake and stuff. The water jetpacks. Yeah, yeah, they look pretty cool. Wow. I've never never done it. Flyboard, yeah. I'd like to try. It's on my list of things I always to see do. Like people uh, doing that wrong, and they nosedive. And if I went on a cruise and they offered that as an activity, I'd I'd probably buy it. I'd do it. That looks fun. I've never been on a cruise. Never been on a cruise? Uh-uh. Jason, you been on a cruise? No, I have not. I've been on two cruises. Let's do a 12 o'clock siren does the Alaskan cruise. That's a summertime cruise. Okay. I would like to Maybe do both. that. both. I knew someone that did that. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, it went to like Canada and then Alaska. and They had whale watching and they, all that they stuff. They look a lot, like a lot of fun. I'm going it did to, look pretty cool. I'm going to Alaska next month. For real? Yep. Wow. To Allison Air Force Base to do a weather cold weather forecasting uh, course. Word. Isn't cool. that where uh, Tyler uh, Boyer was? Yeah, he's. Uh, I don't think he's at Allison. Oh, okay. Uh, he's at uh, Elmendorf, I believe. Oh. I don't know. So, but yeah, I'm going up. It's next to Fort Wainwright. I'm, I think I get to go through the uh, North Pole. So, cool. That's cool. For real? Yeah. Um, and after, then uh, after Santa though. Yeah. And yeah, then I'm just going. Miss him. Yeah, it's all right. I'll take some He'll pictures. He'll probably be back up there by then. Maybe we can hang out, have yeah. a beer. Um, there is a, supposedly a restaurant right outside of uh, Alston that serves like moose and elk and stuff. Never had moose, so Heard I'm going to try it. I bet it's good. I'd, I'd eat that. I'm also going back to um, that area next like winter to go to Arctic Survival. Cool. So, yeah, get to spend five days out in the frozen tundra. I don't know. Can you see the Northern Lights there oh, at the I'm North sure. Pole? Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, Anywhere up there, right? I don't think they, so. they get them in Montana, don't That's they? That's true. We like, got them yeah, in Texas once. Like so. Oh, for real? Yeah. Jim and I saw them. No. It's crazy. It was right after 9 11. We were like, is that, what is that? It's kind of red. And uh-huh. then they had a big article the next day. Sure, on the it internet. wasn't Night of the Comet. Yeah, man. No. Did you ever see that movie? No. It's a creepy 80s movie. It's like this comet comes through and everybody's going to get together and watch it. So, uh, like, the nation is basically partying like it's, uh, you know, like New Year's. So everybody's out in the streets and stuff watching for this comet. And when it comes through, it turns everyone to dust. Oh. But those who uh, weren't, like, directly hit by it, like, slower like transition, like so they're thin zombie-ish. Thinner. Uh, yeah, they're starting mm. to lose some, some skin and stuff. And then uh, there's, like, these three kids that were hanging out in their parents' like shed. And it was metal, so they didn't uh, come into contact with this dust. So it's just them. Yeah. So all these other people are like zombie type folks trying to get them, and they're trying to like escape Los Angeles. Wow. Yeah. Mm. It's called Night of the Comet. I just read a book, a creepy eighties movie called Odd Billy Todd. It's a novel, and uh, it was about a biological weapon that was unleashed on the United States by China, and. Um, or no, it was, it was some anyway, it was some plague where they killed ninety nine percent of the population or whatever, and it was a really interesting book, and it was kind of like what would happen if, but written as a novel. It's yeah, cool, it's like cool book. I am legend style. Yeah, like uh, Last Man on Earth. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he's funny. not though. That's so funny. There's a lot of other men and stuff. Are you up to date? Up to date on it? No. Oh my lord, they canceled it. Sadly, I have seen. I love that an episode show. or two. You should really watch them all. Um, what's that guy's Highly, name? Uh, that's the star of that show. I can always. Is he? Always he's MacGruber, it. right? Yeah, the guy that plays MacGruber. I MacGruber. Always, I always forget his name. He's funny. Will Forte. Yeah, he's very funny. Yeah, he's funny. He is that, and that he 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 kind of always plays that kind of person. Even MacGruber, he yeah. a lot of those lines he uses are in uh, Last Man on Earth. And the cameos, uh, like Jack Black's in it, and Will Ferrell's in it. Is Zach Galifianakis? Um, isn't that? Yes, he's, I think he yeah, is. He's yeah, been in it, yeah. Good Nafa- Yeah, Nafagus. what was he? Yeah, he was. Um, all kinds of people. Gaffanophagus. Jack Black was in it for approximately five seconds. It That's was like awesome. the best cameo I've ever seen. That's cool. It was the best. Have any of you? Uh, You're like, oh man, Jack Black, and it's like, all right, never mind. <laughs> Have you ever seen? There's a show called Halt and Catch Fire. Have you ever no. seen that? Apparently, it's a really good kind of kind of. I think that style of comedy, whatever. Mm-hmm. I haven't ever seen it either. Uh, Pugs from 105.3 talks about it all the time. Yeah. 
Last Man on Earth. Check it out. It's funny, More so. Funny stuff. Buy an elf on the shelf is a Christmas tradition. We did that. Mm, oh, I yeah. bet you won't do I, that again. It Let's, popped we'll, up in my memories the other day. Like, keep it coming, guys. I love these elf on the shelf things. I'm like, all right. I like uh, all the memes all right, that go with them. Yeah, yeah, like, you've heard of elf on the shelf, and now oh, it's something <laughs> funny. Fetus on the fetus or whatever. <laughs> 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 oh yes. Mm, I'm just sitting here looking at uh top twenty five Christmas traditions. Number ten is make a gingerbread house. I've never actually made one. I've ate eaten one. Yeah, well they have those kits now that I I've, I've made one like that. I love gingerbread though. Have y'all man. done the kit with the kids? Uh, it's I don't have any feeding then it's it's, it's it's it does it ever happen? I like, want a kid. I'm thinking about just pain. buying a kid on the black market. One that's already like knows how to poop and stuff. Yeah. 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 I don't want to have to teach it how to poop. Speaking of, here's a countdown with an advent calendar. I've got one I want to send to y'all. Uh, let's see what else is there. Listen to classic Christmas music. Does August Burns Red, Sled and Hill count? Yeah. Probably not going to be on the list. Okay. Or Merry Christmas from the family. Look up look Robert up uh, most disliked Christmas songs. I've got an idea which one's number one. Do you guys have any idea? Don't um, say anything yet. But Hate it, most do you hate know it. What, do you know what the... What? Um, last Christmas, I'm going to guess. Is last Christmas, I gave you my heart. I've, I've got that's not what I'm thinking. Um, uh, are you, hold on, are you looking up a, a oh, a, I a know, most I just heard one the other day. Um, let's 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 hold our hold our guesses. I, I don't know the name of it, it's like uh, hurry down the chimney tonight or whatever. Santa yeah, Baby, yeah, that, Santa Baby, yeah. all right. F that stupid song. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go, I have an idea what number one is. You don't think it's Santa it's Baby? Not, it's not coming up. Hold on. Okay. You want, me get, you want my readers? No, I'm, I'm on the wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We had a moment right we before did. we started recording here. I wish here, we'd have caught that on there. Jason, Jason. Let me get my readers at, on now. At the 9 o'clock spot, just busted out some reading glasses to look at his phone. Oh. Uh, check, it, check his phone, and I couldn't contain mm. myself. Okay. And I just laughed and said, man, you're going to have to slow your roll on pulling the, the readers out like that. It was brand new to me. So, All right, so give me a rundown. Start at, like, number seven. What's okay. the most disliked country so- or uh, Christmas song? <laughs> Baby, by It's March. Cold Outside mm. by Frank Lesnar. Disliked, so that's a good one to start with. Because I kind of like that song, I'm not going to lie. It's a little rapey, it I get it. It's, it it's, the, it's, it's been controversial. Yeah, it's been in controversial. The, in, in recent years. Oh, it's the one Frank, where he and the, the, the girl word. are going back and forth about she's – do you want to have another drink? Maybe it's cold outside. Well, I guess another one won't hurt. And he's really being pushy. But, um, and in this it's a love story. Yeah. In this woke culture, they uh, say it's buddy, buddy, the elf me. and, uh, the, the girl, the, the love interest sing that back and forth or she's singing it in the shower and he's singing it outside the shower being quote unquote creepy, but he just yeah. likes to sing being a little rapey. You know, he just likes to sing number, s- but I will she have takes to say, a rapey. Yeah. Well, and I will say though, when the song was re- released, it was the game that had to be played by men and women because of the culture at the time. So it's sure. not a rapey song. It's Willie just Willie Nelson also our... covered it. Did he really? Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, number six. Baby, it's cold outside. That's, that's terrible. That's a terrible, that's a Willie, terrible Willie Nelson. Willie. Willie. I applaud your effort, though. Uh, Willie's man, hard to do. It was yeah. off the cuff. Uh, Santa Baby by Eartha Kitt. Is that, uh, that we just said mentioned? That one. Well, eight, number seven. You that said? was six. Six. Uh, right. I'll tell you another one that that. Pisses oh. me right off. And yeah. That's the chipmunks Christmas or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll punch those. Chipmunks Some of the saxophone ones kind of work. Kenny me G out. style. Uh, not Kenny G so much, but like the kind of like fifties saxophony. Finish this list because I want to talk style, about yeah. songs that I do like. Uh, number five, I saw Mommy kissing Santa Claus. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I, I can understand that. Mommy was a cheater. <laughs> yeah. Uh, number four. Grandma got ran over by a reindeer yeah. by Elmo and Patsy. You know, there's okay. a follow up to that. No, it's uh, Grandpa's gonna sue the pants off Santa. Mm. Oh, it's like that, a follow up song. That sounds like communist propaganda, but whatever. Oh, Grandpa's gonna yep. sue the pants off of Santa. Number three, Dominic the donkey. Never Ooh, heard of it. Not familiar. We might have to pull that up uh, later that after must the show. Be like a. I don't know that one. There is a picture of a jackass. Oh, weird. Underneath it by Lou Monty, 1960. Uh, let's see here. Number two. Yeah, Jason. Two, you're drum on roll, it. Drum roll. The Chipmunks Christmas yeah, song. I knew it, man. Yep. I knew it. 
And chipmunk are y'all ready for one? I'm, I'm gonna go with. Uh, can I? Can I? Can I guess? Yep. Yeah. Um, the Mariah Carey. Um, that's the that's the wham. most favored. Wham. Oh really? Jason's correct. It's Wham. Wow, last Christmas. Really? Last Christmas. Have you yeah. heard this list? When he didn't All say it earlier, I knew it had to be Wham. No. Oh. Wow. Because yeah. it's the one you hear when you go into like department stores. Which one's that? How's that go? I don't even know. It's uh, Last Christmas. George right? Michael's a, a a womanly looking man though. Yeah. I'll say that. Uh, I surprisingly, I actually, I'm. Oh, no, I'm not a big Wham fan. I don't hate that. One. I don't hate them. I don't so hate it when uh, Taylor Swift does it. Yep. What's, what's the name of the song? Last Christmas. Last Christmas. Last Christmas. I gave my heart. And uh, day, it. You traded it in. Oh yeah. It's pretty good. It's better than his Willie. That's yeah. pretty. Oh yeah, it was. Uh, let's my see George Michael's song. better yeah. than his Willie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm wearing my readers. That was, that was offside. As I'm sitting side saddle in this side, chair. <laughs> You're starting to creep me <laughs> out over yeah. there. He needs that, a Mr. Rogers cardigan. <laughs> It's that, this pecan praline <laughs> that reader's shot, case hanging out of your your pearl snap pocket there. Oh, it's not the actual readers on my face <laughs> Looking hanging over off those my glasses. nose. No. Well, that's what I said. He's got his uh, he's got Christmas. his reader's case I'm next s- to his AARP card. I'm sitting side saddle in this chair. <laughs> Mariah Carey, all I want for Christmas is you. I would that's punch it, that song like in that? the face. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't like it. It's like the number one played Christmas song. People oh, still okay. like Mariah Carey. Yeah, I like her. No, I mean I don't hate I her. her. Nope. I dig some of her songs. Nope. Not that one. Nope. What was that big song? Honey? Was it Honey? What came out? Yeah, when we were in high school, that yeah. was a big one. She's like 68 years old, yeah, though. She's, she's getting on. I mean, she's she's Is been she around pop star. It, no, I don't know, but oh. I'm saying like she's pop star like, for wow, a long she's time. She's pretty good for 68. Yeah. Isn't she like Looney Bird crazy? Absolutely is what I've heard. I kind of associate her with being played on the TV screens in line for uh, rides at Six Flags. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. These uh, like cartoons and stuff. Who did we go see at Six Flags, me and you? Um, Mandy Moore and... A little uh, Bow Wow, maybe? Or, <laughs> or Romeo. I think we've talked about this. Yeah, we have. Um, Willa uh, Ford. Um, <laughs> Destiny's Child. Destiny's Child, that's oh. right. And it rained Mandy Moore. Those yeah. are the two bigger names. We L- have an LFO. We what was the situation? We obviously didn't go to see these people. But was we LFO were, the two guys that did the shuffle or whatever? Uh, it was, I, man, I watched a show about the guy that did, uh, uh, NSYNC and Backstreet Boys, the guy that planned, master planned oh, yeah, the book. Yeah. He, didn't he take them for a lot of money or something? Yeah, that was a yeah. crazy story. I didn't realize I didn't it was, watch it, but I've seen that. It, it makes more sense in, like, the names of both of the band's songs and stuff. Uh, oh, so they no were like, attached was a was apparently oh a, they were writing like battle words. raps about this dude yeah kind of that oh, no good. strings attached was after they got for them. they like cut strings with this guy hey speaking of so it's kind of interesting uh, perspective there our last episode where we talked about Nick Cannon and Eminem I'll be honest I don't know about them Nick Cannon <laughs> I think he stepped up out of his league a little bit on yeah, the battle for raps. sure for sure I mean, it's not terrible for it's not sure terrible. I looked into that and it sounded like Nick Cannon's an idiot. Yeah, kind of. To um, me, like I, I thought it was awful. Sounded like he and needed I was like, his this, career. This didn't even sound like a, yeah, yeah. a battle to me. I was kind of disappointed with the whole uh, thing. I think he needed a career bump. So yeah. there's no such thing as. But bad. he's like the host of a lot. He's got a, a radio show in L.A. He like, what does like he need? Every award show. And yeah. What is he trying like, to get? I don't know. The is dude, he trying to get me to like him? Like I'm the last guy that doesn't like him. Like is he? I watched I that stupid mass he's like mass the, singer show already. I would rather get out of my see, space, man. I'd rather see Wayne Brady and the dad Dude, from real. Family Matters battle rap Eminem than <laughs> yeah, Nick yeah. Cannon. Well, it seems like uh, he's like the AC Slater of the urban community, yeah. right? Like, mm. like he hosts all the shows, that's good, but he's... That's a good call. I did like that drumline movie, and it wasn't very good. He's uh, safe. Like he's safe. He's safe, yeah. He's, he's like AC Slater, somewhat. man, but he's 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 they a little bit like, urban. He's got yeah. the... Yeah. What? What? What'd you say? Oh, yeah. <laughs> drumline. Uh, I was reenacting scenes from Drumline. Yeah. Couldn't read With music. It was a beautiful on. story. Yeah. I can't either. Me either. I can barely read letters. Where are we going with this? Oh, guys. Okay, oh, look. Christmas songs that you do like. Oh. Give me some. Man, I got to tell you, and I, man, my kids are so awesome. My kids love a very diverse group of music, mm-hmm. and they love heavy music. And we have been jamming the August Burns Red Sledding Hill 2012 release that is mm. a Christmas they have. Um, it's a mix of, or not acapella, uh, you messed me up, Matthew, you said that the other day, instrumentals yeah. and uh, one with words. And I like the Carol of the Bells, August Burns Red style. Uh, 
and uh, God rest ye merry gentlemen. Also, August Prince Red. We've just been jamming that. It's been awesome. Love it. Word. Yeah. What about you? Cool. Uh, I like Hard Candy Christmas by Dolly Parton. Okay. And Christmas in Dixie by Alabama. Yeah. I like that yeah. one. A- one. Angels Among Us is kind of a Christmas mm-hmm. song. I kind of, uh, that's a good one. And uh, Robert O'Keen's Merry Christmas from the Family. It's a good okay. one. Okay. Um, I'm going to say a little Garth Brooks, that uh, Christmas album he came out with. I couldn't tell you one song off it right now. I like But like the time we moved here was about the time it came out, and not, we listened to it a lot, I guess. I like tape. Uh, off his album Sevens, uh, Bellow Wood tells yeah. a story about Bellow Wood, World War One, where they had a Christmas uh, ceasefire, mm. and it talks about uh, the Germans and the Americans singing uh, together, and they kind of hung out during during the ceasefire. Yeah, they actually mm. like broke bread together, right? Yeah, yeah. like they they just like, hey, let's not kill each other for a while and hang out and have Christmas. And Didn't they, they did. call wow. it off for to like to hunt wolves or something in the wintertime? I don't remember. I don't Is that know. a story? Maybe. I, I heard that, that they out. had like a. Uh, They're like, hey, we got to quit killing yeah, each well, other. Hang on, let's kill these wolves and then we'll get back to business. I think that Jeez. may have may not have happened. That, those wars were a weird thing, man. Yeah, Things how that happens, you know, winter time and yeah, stuff. Yeah, you're like, let's just hang out for a little bit. Let's break bread, sing some Christmas songs, and then tomorrow we're gonna start shooting at each other again. Did we not have somebody on that? talked about that did uh, a story similar to that i feel like maybe we did i don't know maybe don't i'm recall. dreaming that up I don't anyway recall. there is something tickling at my yeah, head there i feel like someone that we had on may have mentioned <coughs> something like that but anyway i digress before we uh you know i don't know what we're, we're 51 minutes in i do we, yeah, we don't we don't talk about politics a lot but i do kind of want to talk about this impeachment a little bit i want to bring it up guys let's hear it well that it's a big fat waste of time for one thing and taxpayer dollars. It is, and here's the thing: I don't care uh, anybody that's listening. I don't care if you're for impeachment or against impeachment. That's not what I'm talking about. But I was watching the vote, and you know, each there were Democrats and Republicans getting up and saying their three minutes. You know, uh, yield time for three minutes. The gentleman is recognized, and they go and they stay their spiel, mm-hmm. and they were all, every one of them, appealing to the Constitution. Well, our Constitution is. And, like, first of all, I think people know where I stand. Like, Democrats don't care about the Constitution. and then Obviously. This, obviously. <clears throat> and then this Republican gets up, and he's appealing to the Constitution. And he was a guy that was uh, voting for in favor of uh, red flag laws. And I'm like, guys. Obviously, yeah. also does not care about the Constitution. Exactly. And that's kind of why I was like, ah, burn it all down. Yeah. 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 You know, it was just ridiculous. And now they're not going to send the uh, articles of impeachment to the Senate. Well, but it was a big emergency. H was all this for? Well, I mean, what's the point? Just yeah. so they could say it in the election like, time. Let's, yeah, he was impeached. You don't want to vote for him. I, I'm telling you, every time they say the word impeachment, another Donald Trump voter is uh, yeah. is created. You mentioned that the other day. I think it makes sense. It does, man. I'm yeah, telling you. they're 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 helping him out with his campaign. They, they really don't even are. know it, man. His uh, Matthew, you sent me that thing uh, about his. Uh, if I were a diehard Democrat, which I'm not. Uh, You're not? I'm not. Uh, if I were, though, I would be a little upset at uh, the angle the Democrats in office are taking Absolutely. To, keep, to keep Trump and the like out of office. Sounds kind of flimsy. It, well, here's the deal. Ridiculous, man. Because here's the thing. Whether what he did was right or wrong, it's been done a hundred times before, and it's the selective outrage that people are starting to see through, right? So let's take, l- l- for argument's sake, let's just say there was quid pro quo, right? Let's just say that. Well, how many of these people are going to vote for Joe Biden, who is the clear front runner of the Democratic primary right now, um, because it uncovered corruption on the Bidens? Yeah. So they're sitting there and they're they're <clears throat> they're pandering to this whole like oh he's abused his powers he did it for personal gain great that's fine okay awesome you better not vote for Joe Biden because you're more worried about uncovering yeah. the corruption than the actual corruption yeah I agree they they did more harm to to themselves than good but I saw a thing I saw a theory that uh, made sense it was a guy on one of my groups he said hey I'm a thirty plus year moderate Democrat uh, have been all my life whatever. He said uh, they're not worried about 2020. They're worried about 2024. And a lot of the Senate uh, and House seats that are coming up, uh, they're like D plus six, uh, like easy, easily Democrat, uh, you know, uh, what's the word? Uh, 
oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Your your sector, your district. District. Yeah, yeah. they're like D plus six, easily Democrat districts, and the Democrat incumbent is stepping down to allow for a more progressive type, like uh, AOC type politician. And so they're all in on 2024. I think they realize that 2020 is going to be a Trump train. Yeah, <laughs> you know? it's looking that way. How many questions did you pull there, uh, I just uh, got a, a bunch. Um, I, got, I got five. I was just going to ask no, one No, uh, I of you, think maybe. what we should do How is... Do uh, do We're going to do five questions here. Back in like episode four, five, six, somewhere in there, my lovely wife made us a jar. For those of you who haven't seen it, it is the uh, random five question jar, jar from which we draw five questions every week. Uh, James gets a few, I get a few, and we ask our, our guests. But we don't always dig down to the bottom of this thing, and a lot There's of times... new ones in there. I, I add them spir- A lot uh, of times we sift through, uh, depending on the guest that we have, because uh, there's some random, random questions in here. So to finish out kind of this year, we're going to go through some of these questions that you guys might not hear that often. Uh, I, I've got so five. I, I say just, just grab your handful, you. and uh, if it's one we don't come across often, let's let's discuss. Hey, but first, I've got five questions for you, my friend. Pull one out of the jar and tell me what it says. One question I have for you: Who are you? Where are you? What are you gonna do? Little little new uh, new spin on it. I there. like it, Matthew. <laughs> Did y'all like that? That's a lot better. Thank you. That's a lot better. You're getting I better. hard on that. I've got a question for you guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, both of you. I'm just going to ask both of you. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> so you know when you get in your car and you... Uh, or your Jeep. Plug it in. Or your Jeep. Truck, maybe. Uh, what is the first song that plays in your phone when it auto plays? That it's like the first alphabetically that you're just like, oh my God. If I hear that song one more time... Uh, I don't have. Do you on have Spotify. one of those? Like on, uh, let's say, CarPlay connects to your phone. Yeah, I and got it one. Automatically plays. Yeah, I mean, I'm the first familiar. one that's alphabetical song or the first album that's alphabetical. Do you have one of those? No, uh, my Spotify. Okay, random. James, you know what I'm talking about. Yes, I do. What's your song? It's weird. I don't know why it pops up. It's. <laughs> I don't even <laughs> want to say it. this. Let's it's a it. great song. It's though. something alphabetically. No, it's ABBA. It's no. No, it's, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's uh, not alphabetic. Okay, you're not going to get it. It's give uh, me a hint. I bet I can get it. It, wait, what genre? Uh, I said genre. He did. I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> uh, genre coffee? Who? Yeah. <laughs> what? No. Genre. Um, it's nerdcore rap. Uh, <laughs> I probably won't get it. Go for it. MC Chris, Bet's okay. Bet. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I would not have got that. Yeah. Mine currently is Vanilla Ice, uh, a song called ADD. Uh, That's strange. And it used to be All American Rejects. Uh, and it was the most annoying in my Jeep. It was the most annoying, blaring music. And, you know, my. Sound, I like the All American Rejects, so. though. No, I, I did. Yeah. <laughs> but after 500 bad. times of it playing every time I got in, blaring, if I didn't turn it down, oh my God, it, it wore me out. Yeah. But I thought it was a good question that maybe, you know, some what people could relate to. You got something? What is something everyone looks stupid doing? Vaping. Yeah. It's a good S- one. Sneezing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because you get the... Like, you take a snap, a snapshot of somebody sneezing. You get the wind. disabled face. Oh, man. You can't control anything. No. <laughs> There's do, you ever, nobody... do you ever sneeze and your arm hurts? Yes. What is that? Why does know. that happen? I've know. been popping my back sneezing. I've done that. Like, it pops in about three places. What about you, Jason? You, can you think of something? Vaping. Oh, you said vaping. Yeah, that's right. All right. Uh, um, hang on. That what's that dance that all the kids do where they swing their arms back and forth? <laughs> Flossing, yeah. dude. I know my that kid does looks it. Looks ridiculous. Like, Stop it. I like how they all do it like nobody has ever done it before. Yeah, yeah. they're oh, well. That's the like, part. look, man, I get it. Kids dancing's cute, but that's not a clever dance move. Not anymore. When yeah. I was a kid, Michael Jackson was moonwalking. We all wanted to do it, right. could yeah. not do it. So let's yeah. say there's this, like a dance floor that they might go to, not a digital one, like an actual dance floor. Uh, would they just do that for like three minutes? Probably, for, like, yeah. For the for the through <laughs> the song, doesn't that just speak just volumes awesome. to the way the like the decline of civilization? Yes. Though? Is it, it the moves we used to aspire to do? We yeah. couldn't do. Yeah. No normal human now, could do. Now every child can do that move. I'll be honest, I can't floss. Well, I can <laughs> floss. I will say that I, I've tried it. Uh, it's both, a both drunk and sober. You look like and a I can flosser. Floss. All yeah. right, I got both, one. Both I got an teeth, interesting. Both teeth and dance. My wife would be proud that you're flossing your teeth. Yeah, thank you. She I gets floss, of course. 
when you're going to the dentist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got one that we never ask anybody. What would be the coolest animal to scale up to horse size? Oh. The size of a horse. I got mine. Koala bear. Ooh, that'd be gnarly. Yeah. You put that in the jar for me. It would eat show? a lot of eucalyptus. I, I still got a little pecan praline in my glass. Sure. I, I think would. a sloth would be cool and safe. Yeah, yeah. except their hook fingers. Their but, hands but bother safe. me. Yeah. A sloth would be more safe than a koala. Aren't they gnarly? S- yeah, koalas, koalas are, are gnarly. gnarly. Kinda, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, they are a bear. Really? Kill Tony was actually talking about this in Australia. Are they a bear? On, I on, they were on a Joe bear. Rogan. They're a bear. But they yeah. are a bear, koala bear. Yeah. He, and he said most people leave off the bear part, and he was like, I was terrified of that thing. <laughs> He's like, I didn't want any part of it. I always thought that was like a, strong like a misnomer. Bear. Like they call him a bear, but they're not. I mean, it's a bear. Not well, like, like a not panda like bear is a, like a raccoon, right? I uh, think a panda bear is a bear. Look that yeah. up. Yeah, oh, Let's panda bear is a bear. Trash panda. Let's look that up. I think a panda bear is in the raccoon family, but I might be wrong. I have been Interesting. wrong before. Ling Ling or Sing Sing or what's uh, the famous Meta- one at like the Washington D.C. Zoo? I don't know, but Meta uh-huh. World Peace changed his name to Panda Friend when he moved to China. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> that dude, man, that makes sense. He never quite lived up to the Dennis Rodman uh, nah, legacy. Rodman's but, got it. He yeah. he invented it. Panda bear is a bear. It's nowhere related to the raccoon family at all. No, but I think it's because people call raccoons trash pandas because yeah. of the rings around no, their eyes. No, it's uh, what's the red panda? That looks a lot like a raccoon. You're killing me with these uh, glasses, there, Jason. The readers. If you could see how I'm sitting right now, like my legs, you would. You, see, that would you be look the like you should be teach on. me shop or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is a red panda a raccoon? I don't know if it's a raccoon, but it's not a bear. I don't think. Looks raccoonish. The red panda is a mammal native to eastern Himalayas and southwest China. It's listed as endangered. Dude, you look legit AF podcast guy right now. <laughs> you kind <laughs> do. Yeah. The lesser panda, the red bear cat, the red cat bear, all names of the red panda. You know, Dennis Rodman's the only person to be personalized in the game Arch Rivals for the N- Nintendo Entertainment System. Really? I remember yeah, the that green game. hair. There's one character with green hair. Of course, they didn't pay him on that, but we all knew who it was, right? Yeah. Okay. I got a question. Yep. One that we never ask. Is that, is this three? I don't know, man. We're going we're to ask a few here. We're not, read yeah. these two. Read these two just quietly to yourself. Okay. I have readers on. You want me to read something? Uh, no, I got it here. What is the furthest north, east, south, and west that you have traveled? Go ahead, Shu. Uh, north? The, yep. You've been all over. Oh, north. That's, you can't ask a Harvey that because yeah. they're just world travelers. They are. North and stayed uh, would be like Scotland. Santa Claus. Okay, that's a good one. I mean, we just flew basically to the North Pole with Dad to Hong Kong. but that, I wouldn't Yeah, that doesn't count. That. That. That's in transit. Right, yeah. Uh, probably Be- Boots Scotland. on ground. Scotland's Edinburgh. North. Edinburgh? Uh, Ed- Edinburgh, Glasgow, one of the two. Which um, do you whichever. prefer, Edinburgh or Glasgow? Ooh, I love. I liked uh, Glasgow. Really, we had a good time. It's kind of rough, like nightlife it? wise. But uh, it, Edinburgh had like the historic. Uh, yeah, but appeal. in in Glasgow, kind of like you got to watch out. You might get shanked. It seemed all right when we were there. We were, mm-hmm. we were there just there for like twenty four hours, but um, Is that white privilege. It was yeah. We just walked around, had a good old time, and then we went to Edinburgh. Edinburgh was cool. Like I said, historically. Gotcha. Castles you, and stuff. What about you, Jason? Um, north, north? Uh, north and east would be New York. Kay. New York, New York. Yeah. Well, I've been n- more north than New York, New York. I think I drove to uh, Albany. Very uh, nice. Uh, west, it would be Phoenix or Flagstaff, whichever is more farther west. Flagstaff, uh, I think. It's northwest yeah. of Phoenix, I believe. South, I've been to <laughs> Mexico. Flagstaff's cool. Um, Just across the border in Mexico. Uh, yeah, so... Again, not the world traveler that the Harveys are. I've been to, uh, I think the farthest north I've been has been Montana, um, very close to the border. Also, maybe eastern Washington. I went to the Colville National Forest. So yeah. that's one of those two. What is west? Because I've been to L.A. and I've been to Seattle. So which one's uh, the further? Probably Or Seattle. even San Francisco. Uh, probably Seattle or San Francisco is probably yeah. farther which west. Which one is it? Yeah, one of those, I would think. I'm um, it up. South, I've got, I think, Belize is probably the furthest south. You've been to Belize? Yeah, Antarctica. on a cruise. Uh, I mean, Antarctica if that counts. Yeah, Your counts. parents have been to Antarctica, right? No, they're planning on it. I think, oh, I yeah, I want to go on that one. 
uh, so you can there, check it off earlier. Isn't there some kind of little colony there, like yeah. a study center or something? Yeah. yeah. It has so a bar, right? Oh, I'm sure, yeah. The furthest west I've been, I think, is probably Francais. Found it. Um, well, or okay. France or London, one yeah. or whichever one. I've been to the Far West Tavern in California. That's yeah, pretty I, far west, I guess. Not a yeah. clever name. Uh, as far as south, I've been probably to like, in a in a boat from San Francisco out to Whale Watch. There you go. That's that's, that's probably it uh, right there. East. I don't know. I don't know about east. I haven't gone too far east. I mean, the East Coast, but in like Georgia and and uh, like Savannah and in Florida. Yeah. But I like that question. It's a weird one. Yeah, that is. I got just thinking weird. about how far you. I got a question that says span. weird in it. Go. Uh, what Go. what weird food combinations do you enjoy? Ooh. I'm not sure we've ever asked anyone. That. We have. Um, have we? we asked uh, Coach Lipsy. I did. Mine. My, my next is, question actually this? relates to that, oh, so I'm going to go last. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so, what weird food? Um, cornbread and milk is that weird? People do no, that. No, I think no. that's cool. I don't think that's so weird. Um, I like um, old Yeller always made me want <laughs> cornbread and milk. Sometimes I like I like a little bit of ketchup on my scrambled eggs, like a little bit. Okay. I like uh, like pecani sauce. Well, yeah, that was it too. On yeah. eggs. That's, so I, th- I don't think that's that much of a stretch, really. No. It's tomato it's based. Spicy, yeah. Uh, I can't think of good. anything that's super weird offhand. What's the weirdest it, food you've you, ever did eaten? Did you say weirdest combo? Yeah. Weird uh, combination. Uh, uh, sorry, mine doesn't pertain to the. Uh, I thought you right. meant just we good could pretend combo. that it does. Uh, weird combo. I kind of like eggs and when the syrup runs into my eggs. Like, uh, oh, yeah. Pancake yeah, like syrup. It. At uh, IHOP or something. A lot of something. people think that's weird, but I like no, the I like, uh, mixture of it. I like when pancake syrup gets on my bacon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel like it's such a treat. You it know? is. Yeah. I'm like, oh. What a, um, what a good mistake. I'd, I'd like you guys, this is it. The next question is, give me your best hot pocket inc- uh, impression. Hot pocket. Hot pocket. Hot pocket. That was good. Oh, one. I was doing the Jim Gaffigan. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Hot it doesn't matter. Pocket. Just give me your best one. Yeah, that was okay. it. That give was, me your best Jim Gaffigan. That was, that was my question. That was it, too. Yeah. Hot pocket. What are some nicknames for customers or coworkers? Oh. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna go with this. One. We're gonna uh, skip this. I, I have one. I can. I've I can, got one. Right. Go ahead, Matthew. No, go. Ahead. No, you first. Um. Uh. I don't know why this is, but uh, a lot of our helpers at work become junior. <laughs> All right. Uh. Yeah. Dad had a helper once years ago, and everybody called him Junior, and it just kind of stuck. So every helper that uh, he or I've had since then has just been Junior. Jeez. So, yeah, you kind of forfeit your name when you show up. You're just junior. That's you ever good. felt an earthquake? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No. Yeah, but go ahead with your. Rip. Rip. Oh, okay. That's a good one. We yeah. had uh, at the Customers rover. and. At the Irish <laughs> Rover, rover yeah. uh, uh, Ryan, K, Ryan I K. was Rip. Okay. Oh, everybody was Rip. Yeah. Uh, Ryan K. brought in a uh, phenomenon for a little while at our little bar in Frisco. Nah. Yeah. Where uh, he. He had worked with a guy in, at a, uh, if I, if the story is correct, he worked with a guy at a Red Robin in Seattle, and this guy would p- put his index finger on your shoulder and then just kind of, just uh. a little scratch kind of, not hard scratch. Yeah. He'd say, Endearing. He'd go, all right, Rip. Uh. He'd say, all right, Rip, basically, and everybody became Rip. So, hey, Rip, how you doing, Rip? All right, Rip. Yeah. And it came a uh, phenomenon within the bar. It did. Customers, coworkers, everybody was rip. Speaking of the Irish Rover, yeah, there's going to be a, a new one. A new Irish I'm Rover. I'm very in, excited in about Salina. it. Yeah. yeah. You hear cool. about that? We're going to go That's check cool. that out. Original uh, Irish Rover uh, menu guy. The and, last time uh, I went to Salina. Restaurant Tour Blue Tate is opening one up in Salina. It's strange to me because the last time I went through Salina, it looked like Celeste, Texas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You probably haven't been through it in a while, downtown. It probably does not now. Yeah, no. I think he's doing like a downtown building, Irish Rover. Yeah, it's been so. ten years probably since I've been through there. Oh, dude, it's I like, like to get him on the now. show. Get him on the show. Let's bring him on. Him. He's a nice uh, English chap. Uh, okay, felt an earthquake. Uh, I thought I did once in did. Uh, Paul's Valley, Oklahoma, but it turned out to be some uh, like they were blowing some stuff up not far from there. I, I felt one in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, and. When I was stationed on the West Coast and at Vandenberg Air Force Base. Never felt one. Really? Yeah. Man, interesting. Not noticeable. Cool. I remember like the even the tremors you get from Dallas when they were getting them from fracking or whatever they're Yeah, I never alleging. felt those. I never felt any of that phenomenon. 
Yeah, I thought I had, and then uh, later that evening, I'd told everybody that I'd been through an earthquake, and later that evening they, on the news, they said it was some uh, like uh, explosions. They were blowing stuff up on purpose. Why is there like five of those questions? <laughs> because I probably think uh, of it every once in a while, and like, ah, that's a good question. It irritates me. <laughs> a pile of like stuff Every time here, I get in my car, I, I write it down. But these are ones that we've already asked, folks. All right, I got a, a rando for you. Give me the rando. Give me oh, this five, is a good one. Five pro golfers. Just can you name five pro yeah. golfers right now? Phil Mickelson. Okay. Yep. Tiger Woods. All yep. right. Uh, is it Rory McIlroy? Yeah. McIlroy. McIlroy. And uh, who's the guy that drives the generally from Dallas? Uh, Spieth. Spieth. Jordan. Jordan, Jordan Spieth. Spieth. Okay. Is that four? Four. That's four. Um, I'm drawing a blank on the name here, man. Who's the guy that used to pull his golf club out and like do the Zorro thing? Chi-Chi. Chi-Chi Rodriguez. Yeah, Chi-Chi. <laughs> All right. He's been, uh, I don't know if those are valid and eligible now, but I'll give you that to you. Yeah, most of well, them. They James, were, you, got, you want to add any? Well, yeah, I was just going to say the ones Jason did. There was one he was missing, and I literally just... Um, Who's the blonde-headed guy that smokes cigarettes and stuff? Uh, Daly. Yeah, John, John Daly. Daly. Um, but the... Uh, there's this one guy. He's he's the Tiger Woods of right now, and I love him to death. And for some reason, I can't think. Is that of his not name. Jordan Spieth? It no. was two oh, years ago. Uh, he's from the Metroplex, or right? now? Yeah, yeah he's from Highland, Highland, Highland Park. Okay. Or yeah, Highland Park. Yeah, he drives the General Lee. Is that correct? Uh, I don't uh, know. About that. He's like a partier, right? I can't say that. Brooks Kepka. Brooks Never Kepka. He's like the number one golfer guy right gotcha. now. He's awesome. Never hoided um, him. Davis Love the Third still playing. Yeah, yeah. Look, look like that. Look like Matthew <laughs> Harvey in that that golf <laughs> card. Uh, Dustin Johnson. He's okay. been suspended several times for cocaine usage, and there is a funny thing. I, uh, I, I follow a page called uh, Dude, Where's My Par? And uh, somebody, you know, when you're in those groups on Facebook, they'll say, hey, thanks for the ad. Mm -hmm. They're like, hey, thanks for the ad. I like ripping Dustin Johnson's in the porta potties <laughs> I thought that was <laughs> funny. Uh, but, yeah, so I'm, I'm uh, – I don't watch as much Sports Center anymore because ESPN is so bleeding hard these still on? days. So I don't catch a lot of golf highlights. I actually like watching golf now. Yeah, right. that's that's fine. I just don't watch a lot of Sports Center, and that's where mm. I used to get it all. Dude, Hockey here's a too. here's a good one that I haven't seen as we've dug through these uh, asking guests. Yeah, good. When you were a kid, what seemed like the best thing about being an adult? This is a good one. Driving. Mm, okay. Driving wherever you wanted to go, you could just get in the car and drive. Uh, I'd say not going to school. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Like when I was a kid, kid, you know, you're like, man, they don't have to go to school. Yeah, I didn't know how that worked. So, like Walker's yeah. age. Yeah. I was like, I don't need this stuff. I really don't. Mom's yeah. like, you got to go so you'll get smart. And I was like, I'm already pretty good. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I'm good enough. Yeah. Yeah. Not having homework was pretty big. Yeah. I, I never did homework. When they started giving it, it's when I started making bad grades. Yeah. What about you, Matthew? Is that it? Mm -hmm. okay. I think homework is unconstitutional. No, I homework, yeah. And I was yeah. not going to do it. They had me eight hours. They yeah, couldn't get I, it in then? It is kind of crazy, really. It's ridiculous. I got, I got one here. Coca-Cola or Pepsi, guys? Coke. Coke. Uh, absolutely. Coke. If you say otherwise, you're kind what, what of a narc. Yeah. <laughs> you're a narc. What sport would be funniest to add a mandatory amount of alcohol to? UFC. <laughs> like MMA. Yeah. NASCAR. <laughs> NASCAR. <laughs> NASCAR. Yeah. Well, that brings up the sport debate now, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, yeah, it does. Ostrich racing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like NASCAR. <laughs> yeah. What's that dude, that, goes. that guy that was on last car? I mean, you get somebody in a 200-mile-per-hour <laughs> car and give them a little booze yeah. to go around the Put a track. cop they're out there. They're going to yeah. get some. They're yeah. going to get really risky. Put get a, a little aggressive. Get loose. Put a yeah. checkpoint out there, just random checkpoints. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe like a penalty shot. You get or pulled something. over and you have to blow in the breathalyzer yeah. every, like every what if two hundred laps. What if you uh, sped in uh, pit row, pit road? <laughs> you get a you, you get, get a, a warning first. Shot. You get like a one on one proof. You get a Dewey shot yeah. of whiskey and some some guys just speed to get a free shot. Yeah. Flaming Dr Pepper for you, sir. <laughs> it makes them better. Um, <laughs> they win the race. What's that guy what that, having? That was on light. Oh my goodness. Hey, sorry hey, about that. earthquake. Yeah, uh, earthquake. Uh, last comic standing, he uh, he said he was having a party, and a guy that used to bully him in high school showed up, and uh, he said he got drunk, and uh, instead of instead of hiding his keys, he gave them to him, and then he said, I bet you can't make it home in 30 minutes. <laughs> 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 and then he texted him all the way there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm out of uh, new questions, guys. Let 
me see that jar. All this stuff over here, we've already asked. Let's get to the bottom Best of Best childhood thing. memory. Hmm. That's, a, that's a hard one because there's so many. Yeah. If your birth state was a food, what would it be? Salsa. Brisket. Well, okay. What state? Okay. Is that Texas? Yeah, for, for us it is. Uh, yeah, you, you, were at, you were Michigan. Weird yeah, up. sorry, Michigan. I don't know what they eat Yankee. up there. Something probably like a, warm and hearty. Yeah, like a meat I'm pasty. Like a meat pie. Yeah, like a meat pasty or whatever. A meat pie or like a uh, meat grinder. Here's a cool one. Maybe. They eat grinders. Which of the five senses is your strongest? Ooh, I'd say my smell. 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 My wife. I'm, I'm a, they, they say smell and memory is close, closely oh, tied. Okay. I'm a big huh. smell something. It is, is usually triggers England. Memory. It usually triggers, triggers England. Like, oh. if I smell fried food and kind of like That's the, the barry beer uh, smell, I think of England. I, I my wife f- says I has like I have a superhuman smell, and yeah. I remember things well. Yeah. yeah. Huh. They're That's tied together. Interesting. Yeah. I, wasn't I love smells and, like, just putting them together with some, some sort of memory. You like sniffing stuff? Oh, yeah. Come oh, over yeah. here who and doesn't? sniff this. Uh, who doesn't? What? Hey, smell this. It stinks. I don't know. It's <laughs> like a duck meat joke. Push your glasses up, sir. <laughs> <laughs> then I can't see down my nose. Uh, what thrill-seeking, dangerous experiences have you had? <laughs> well, they all involved alcohol, probably. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Well, I mean, I've I've like skydived and stuff, you know. Um, let's see. I do. Uh, when I was younger, I used to engage in a lot of uh, like illegal drag racing on streets. That's true. Uh, I, quite I, a bit. I did some too. Quite a bit of in that, my Jack. short wide F one fifty. Uh, I did quite a bit of that. That was probably. Some of the most thrill-seeking stuff. Also, some of the most illegal. Yeah. What about you, Matthew? What was uh, some of the most dangerous thrill-seeking activities you've encountered? Or in, uh, uh, the typical uh, skydiving, bungee jumping. Same. Um, same. I did a acrobatic uh, ride along in a plane. Oh, that's cool. Cool. pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. Pulled some G's. Uh, a little edgy. Yeah, we did an outside barrel, outside loop. I guess. Oh, here's what is one thing you'll never do again. <laughs> Oh man, I got I got one, but I feel like I'm gonna expose myself here. Oh well, don't say anything. Go to Playmates in Hobbs, New Mexico. No, that was bad. But okay. uh, I'll never do that. Again. Well, this was legal. This was legal. So can I say it, it was legal, like completely? Sure. There was. This is up to you, Jack. Go to Playmates in Hobbs, <laughs> New Mexico. <laughs> that should be illegal. No, uh, Salvia. Oh wow, yeah. There was a thing I didn't know. I didn't know. We didn't know at the time. Um, there was a thing you could buy at head shops called salvia, and it's like tea. It's a it's a it's a form of tea, but you can imbibe it, like you know, pot or whatever. But it was legal; you could do it. So I was like, "How bad could it be?" So my friend here, Matthew, and I went and bought some legally. I need to add again, and we tried it, and I'm never doing that again in my life ever. Period. Bar Good. none. Good. That's mine. Good for you, Matthew. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I'd agree. I learned a lot that day. Who would play yourself in a movie? Denzel. If Ernest P. Denzel, World. Denzel, yeah. Denzel. I want Denzel playing me. Maybe from the waist down. <laughs> <laughs> that was out of bounds. What? what? Ernest P. Whirl for me. Yeah? Yeah. I'd go Tom Cruise. No. Who, would, who do you think d- would play Matthew? Who's born on my day? Joe Rogan. Jim Gaffigan. <laughs> Hot pocket. <laughs> Uh, maybe from the waist up. <laughs> from the waist <laughs> up, yeah. <laughs> That's oh, about right. Nice, nicely played. Bringing it sir. back. Nicely yeah, set you up. I think uh, Vince thought... Vaughn could maybe play James. Well, we're we're both uh, tall. You are tall. Uh, while Vince, while Vince while he irritates me, me a little bit, I can kind of, not the irritate me, but I can kind of <laughs> see it maybe mannerism. It's or, perfect match. <laughs> Storytelling. No, I like Vince Vaughn. I'm no. probably one of his I, I like fans. him, but he he can kind of just push his, a little with me. His early movies where he played the like jerk kind of that yeah. is irritating yeah. to me. But he, some of the stuff he's done since, yeah. uh, it was that the show was trash. The second series of uh, of True Detective, but he was good. I love it. his his like his rambles. Yeah. Oh yeah. They're yeah. they're really good. Um, what would your last meal be? Let's read this one. Oh, easy. Uh, steak, potato, salad, uh, okay. garlic yeah, bread. Endless crawfish. Oh, jeez. Nice. I, could, I could limit myself. I could be like, I'm still Hot eating, Cheetos, man. baby. Yeah. Flaming hot Cheetos. <laughs> yeah, I want the I, red fingers when I go right. out. Man, I'm going to I'm gonna have to change and say endless crawfish. That's absolutely true. 
they'd be like bottomless. Uh, and come on, you man! You got to finish crawfish. it up so we can put you down. I'm not done. No, I'm yeah. not done. You're on your pound forty eight. Uh, I'll take some more of that complimentary bread, please. Yeah. Can I get some <laughs> more of them gonna, potatoes and corn? I'll just dive butter and oil. Overdose. <laughs> here's another. Here's another one. Some of these are pretty interesting. Some I've now found kind of six. What song automatically plays on your car? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some of them are. Uh, it's probably going back to there too. Apple or Android? You know, Apple. Yeah. Android. Two thirds of the Siren are uh, Apple products. I will never buy anything Apple again. That's one thing I'll never do again. Have an iPhone. Oh, yeah. I love my iPhone, man. I hate it. Y'all can have it. I still want to be friends with y'all. What's your favorite phone app? Ooh. Okay, uh, there's a practicality okay, wise. Okay, not the one you use the most. Which one is the one that you love? Oh, man. Spotify. I mean, really. Spotify. Um, bricks and balls. I play a lot of bricks and balls, <laughs> man. I love my Spotify, but I probably enjoy Instagram the most. Yeah, I mean, Facebook, social media apps. I, Facebook is a burden. Instagram is fun to me. What about you, Shu? You got a favorite phone I, app? I liked, um, I, I, actually, over the years, Bike Race. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Bike race. I've fallen in, in and out with it. I'm up to date with I just it. Called I've you maxed shoe out on the air. I've maxed out the game. I can't do anything else, and I love it. I don't know. If I just but I, I, there's no new things. They haven't had anything. I'm on lo- level it's 515 at bricks and balls. Wow. Wow. Cool. Y'all, not, y'all not like Angry Birds guys or anything. I don't have no, any I, games. I quit playing all games. Actually, I don't play any games on my phone. I don't have any games. Uh, I I've tried a bunch of them, but none stuck. They took up too much of my time at one point. I you was know like, what you I know used what? to I'm enjoy? The draw something game. I liked that one. I was yeah, like, I remember that little phase. Oh, oh yeah. Dominoes uh, was fun. I used to play Scrabble. I used to pay, play uh, uh, Boggle. Have Have we asked this one? What part of a kid's movie completely scared you? We, uh, yeah, um, or traumatized you. Yeah. We, we It's come up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like yeah. E.T.? Uh, yeah, that, the, that yeah. actually, the, I think the that came up. Troll, the troll from Ernest Scared Stupid. Do it had two noses? It was slimy, a lot, covered a in lot boogers. of points in uh, the Never Ending Story. Yeah, uh, the wolf at the end, in particular. The yeah. horse, a lot of the horse the, getting the stuck horse in the stupid uh, quicksand or whatever. Yep. You see that jar? I'm out of interesting stuff. So we did a lot of gosh, a lot of there questions s- there. So many. We're things. almost done. We're almost to the bottom. Let's just go ahead and knock this out real quick. Oh. Local internet from local people. Nine oh three broadband. Last time you wore a tie. Ooh, graduation. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Unfortunately, I went to a funeral earlier this year for a colleague, and I wore a tie then. Ooh, man, do you collect anything? Hmm. Two dollar bills, kind of a little bit. Anytime I snag one, I catch them. I don't. I don't go looking for them, but. I collect them. Magazines and G.I. Joe's. Uh, Jim McDonald will tell you that I have an epic magazine collection. My wife will tell you that uh, she has probably wanted to divorce me over it. Yeah, I've got a pretty good magazine. And uh, G.I. Joe's. What What are your main uh, magazine subscriptions right now? Uh, Matthew all collects Pez, stuff. by the way. All of mine Magazines? Are yeah, he does have a cool Pez collection. Oh, i got a lot of Pez, yeah. Magazine. And gnomes. I've got a lot of gnomes, garden gnomes. That's really? right. Oh, no, don't back I have up. Some, a couple oddball collection things i do uh right now i i get flying magazine mm-hmm. cigar aficionado and whiskey advocate all yep. matter car yeah, zero f- stuff related i used to have like a bunch of model car magazines and i'm a nerd car no nerd. magazines here most unusual thing you've eaten i think i asked this while ago and we didn't answer it um I if it's probably something i ate with you <laughs> yeah as a food um i don't James know James continually Drags me out of Maybe. my food comfort zone. That's okay. I found stuff I liked. I've eaten beef heart. Like yeah, it's probably s- like a heart or a uh, organ meat. Like that, yeah. Huh. yeah, we did have. Uh, I had a Chicago. rattlesnake sandwich one time. Okay, All tasted right. just like pulled pork or yeah. whatever. It was. I couldn't tell much difference. Uh, name something everyone should try at least once. Mm. I would have to say Old Potrero Rye Whiskey. I've I made about seven hot toddies this week with that. They're they're gold. With Theraflu. Yep, they're gold, dude. And I've I poured the I've got 
the last bottle of Olpachera I bought, I actually poured it into a decanter, and it's all fancy. They sell it desk. at Chubb's Liquor, by the way. They do. On my request. Yep. <laughs> uh, I want to say everybody should try SEX. That's true. That's oh, true. wow. Putting it out there. I'm, I'm going to make this <laughs> racy. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to hear oh, Denzel gonna, saying that. Oh, you're going to make it on racy. his podcast when he's playing me. I'd oh, like you're going to gonna make day. it racy. <laughs> I'd like to try it one day. Denzel, S E X, or Denzel. Denzel? Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> you made it weird. Yeah. Man. All right. Um, What's I the last think... thing that you searched on your phone browser? Pull it up right now. Uh, your browser oh. tells us the website that that it's on. Everybody's hesitating to hang pick on, up their hang phone. On, hang on. Uh, I'm kidding. Um, uh, t- 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 Safari. Pl- so I have Safari. two phones. <laughs> okay, well, honestly, that's a boring. I have a boring one. Mine's all political. So. Um, Mine is a uh, uh, a document signing app. Um, mine is that's kind of lame. Mine is random because I was trying to find out if Junior Brown recovered his stolen get steel back. Okay, <laughs> uh, okay. here's a random yeah, one. For me. Stole give me your guitar. give me your best three pages, maybe open open browser account. Well, here's the here's the one uh, that is also random. Texas farmer tackles crop rarely grown in U.S. to feed <laughs> daily craving. It's tea. Okay. I've got uh, electionbettingodds.com. I keep it open. Check it periodically. Trump's gonna win. It's a lot of fun. Um. Top, oh man, top. cotton the Cotton Museum, which came up in episode two. Uh, two what, two. Yeah, what are we Gene, looking at? Gene Martin, the browser the, stuff. The Cotton Museum. Yeah. Uh, uh, I've got an open uh, window for Lee Peacock feud archives because I periodically go back and read it, and I think I've actually got the Twelve O'clock Siren on Libsyn directory is open in mind. <laughs> What do you guys have? Advent calendars I just sent to y'all. Oh, yeah? Oh, thanks, buddy. Uh, uh, right. Top recruiting class for uh, collegiate football. That's not nerdy Kay. at all with your readers. Speaking of collegiate football, we've got an exciting guest coming up. We You're do. bashing me with your tea magazines. And <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any tea magazines. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I drink tea. Uh, we're all nerds, man. We're nerds in our own right. I like whiskey. I, get, I nerd out about whiskey. <clears throat> And cigars a little bit. I am a gearhead, man. And I like football. I like college football. I'm sorry. It's all right. You know what? I'm not sorry. You shouldn't be. You should live your truth. Sorry. Live your <laughs> truth, okay? Yeah, I like Denzel. <laughs> yeah. Made that clear. <laughs> um, Matthew made it. He made you it. You made it clear. Of, you made a bizarre comparison to you, Denzel Rod. You Washington. made the comparison. I just so, said I wanted him so to play. I need a I high just, caliber actor to play me. I just made a joke. I'm a, I feel it, like I'm it a might complex have been a little character. off color, but you said Denzel you can't Washington. Say off color when talking about Denzel you Washington. Look clearly, nothing like Denzel Washington. You are going just except for the readers. You both have readers now. That's all I can say about you. Insert two. foot. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yes, I did uh, think about what I just said after I said it. Uh, can I tell my maybe a little too much for this? It's all right. I don't think anybody's going to listen this this far in. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, we've lost everybody anyway. <clears throat> um, but if you did make it this far in. Uh, the 12 o'clock siren just bought their first camera. Yep. Yeah. 4K. Mm-hmm. We're going to start doing some YouTube content. We'd like to hear if anybody's interested in listening, you got some ideas, throw it out there. <laughs> yeah. We'd like to, we'd like to hear it. Yeah. What do you, you can find this on grinder right now. <laughs> <laughs> you can find a live stream of, on grinder yeah. app <laughs> all the time <laughs> at 12 I think o'clock. It's about siren. time to wrap it up. <laughs> Apparently. Um, I hope that camera next year films me riding in a monster truck. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get on that? that to happen. Why isn't that happening yet? Speaking of big because things coming no, up. Uh, I haven't got the go-ahead, man. I'm just waiting. What I don't want to. Who, who is it? Is it Diane? No, no. I'll reach out to the guy. I'm just waiting. I'll no. reach out to 100 people. I have a list of folks that are in ready. Well, get them lined up. Cool. Get them lined up. Yeah. But uh, I don't want to do it the day of. I want to do it no, in Get them lined up. Set them set, set them up for uh, Week January, after Christmas. February. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I got a list. We've yeah. talked about of folks that are ready, primed we, and ready. We need to get some monster truck action here. Maybe even a guy that may or may not have built some monster trucks. He might yeah. be in the Monster Truck Hall of Fame. I can't wait to meet him. I can't wait awesome. to ride in a monster truck. Well, what else we got? Uh, we got the holiday tournament coming up. We have next year. 
the entire next year. 2020 decade. next of, decade a promising 2020 we've had it's a good uh, 4 months 5 months or so here with the 12 o'clock siren uh, in 2019 in that 4 or 5 months we've gotten approximately 40 episodes done about 18 i think well 40 plus episodes yeah. Uh, about 18 interviews, and we plan to bring a lot more to the table in 2020. Yeah, we're going to expand this little media thing here. Uh, it's taken off uh, quite well. Feedback's been great, and uh, we want to get some more guests, uh, a variety of guests. Yeah, I think we're going to start expanding a little bit, like I said, with the CEO reaching out in Dallas and kind of starting to get out get out in the greater Texoma area some. We'd like to thank 903 Broadband for helping us out in this, too. The uh, first official show sponsor, 903 Broadband, local internet from local people. Thank you guys for taking care of us up here for all of our internet needs. Satellite internet with a smile. Internet yeah. with a smile. Local smiles. <laughs> Is that what it was? No. No. <laughs> Is it no, lo- no, no. Local internet from local people. Satellite internet with a smile. <laughs> there it is. That good. might be our That's jingle. Yep. That's a jingle. Uh, I'm working on jingles up here, too. You so uh, I don't know if y'all caught that uh, one week parody that I did. No. Yeah, it's been. Five questions. Are y'all's ears hot? Yeah, they always know. get hot. You know what I'm ready for? Yeah, I've, yeah, I've got <laughs> five not questions that. for you, my friend. Oh. <laughs> not that. <laughs> oh. Not that one. Wow. Oh, is that yeah. the remix to going? Dallas? Yo, uh, it is. Can I hear some? some Thanks, Donna, through broadband. Big for D, us and out. I we really appreciate it. 